Bang, yeah, bang. Hey, everybody, Last Outrider here bringing your next installment of goodness. We're going to start with the forces of chaos. Shall we get to it? Yes. The mortal realms have become the plaything of the chaos gods. A blighted reality where demons frolic and warbands of chaos worshippers wage cruel wars of persecution against the battered remnants of once free peoples. From the burning plains of the Athgrand in the realm of fire, where bands of beastmen root out scattered survivors of the tribes of men who cower there, to the pinnacles of the glass mountains of Hish, where the sorcerer covens of Zinch erect altars of arcane wizardry. The domain of chaos is savage, brutal, and nigh complete. As Sigmar launches the first blows of his war of liberation, the dark gods stir and their servants rejoice. Against the upstart warriors of the storm-cast Eternals and the misguided outcasts who rally to their cause is arrayed the greatest power in history, the forces of chaos. And... Where shall we start with this little cornucopia of evil? How about the armies of the blood god? The sons of rage. Let the separation of peoples begin. The blood spattered and berserk. The worshippers of the lord of skulls are the paramount soldiers in the armies of the dark gods. Corn is the blood god, a deity of rage incarnate, and his followers echo his brutal ways upon the battlefield. Every axe blow and sword thrust is a sacrament of death. Every skull they tear from the bodies of the slain is an offering to their monstrous patron. The creed of corn is as simple as it is cruel. Corn cares not from where the blood flows, only that it does so in great gushing rivers. The only offerings Corn demands of his supplicants are the skulls of his foes, and these are worn proudly on chains, nailed to banner poles, and gathered into vast piles, heaping into mounds until they pierce the tortured skies. In battle, they fight with all the rage of their bloody patron. With froth-flecked lips, men and beasts howl corn's praises as they bludgeon and hack the foe. Horn-headed demons enter the mortal realms to bathe in the glory of their master as the tang of blood assails the senses. To fight the red-clad sons of rage is to mire oneself in war at its most visceral and atavistic. As Sigmar's warriors unleash their crusade of redemption, the warriors of corn respond in kind. Delighting in the thrill of battling such demigods, Nowhere has the fighting been more fierce than in the murderous climes of the Brimstone Peninsula in the realm of Akashi, where Korgos, Kull, and the brutal 
cannibalistic warriors of his gore tide rejoice in the slaughter. The storm hosts sent to secure the gates of Azure even now advance on Kull's red pyramid. But for the armies of the blood god, this is not a thing of fear or concern, but a source of delight. With axes and brazen armor, they will drown the hopes of Sigmar's chosen and those who depend upon them in an ocean of blood. Ba-boom! That is the Sons of Rage. Next we shall focus on the children of the Plague Father. And that will be next time, my friends. Until then, bye! <laughs>